When my sister Betty and I were kids, our family lived for a while in a charming old farmhouse. We loved exploring its dusty corners and climbing the tree in the backyard. But our favourite thing was the ghost. We called her mother because she seemed so kind and nurturing. Some mornings, Betty and I would wake up and on each of our nightstands, we'd find a cup that hadn't been there the night before. Mother had left them there, worried that we'd get thirsty during the night. She just wanted to take care of us. Among the home's original furnishings was an antique wooden chair, which we kept against the back wall of the living room. Whenever we were preoccupied, watching TV or playing a game, Mother would inch that chair forward, across the room, and towards us. Sometimes, she'd manage to move it all the way to the centre of the room. We always felt sad putting it back against the wall. Mother just wanted to be near us. Years later, long after we'd moved out, I found a newspaper article about the farmhouse's original occupant, a widow. She'd murdered her two children by giving them each a cup of poisoned milk before bed. Then she hung herself. The article included a photo of the farmhouse's living room, with a woman's body hanging from the beam. Beneath her, knocked over, was that old wooden chair, placed exactly in the center of the room.